Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I did a video about a year ago regarding using Zoom to record remote interviews. If you are interviewing someone for your video podcast or your YouTube channel, how you can use Zoom. And I went through a lot of different settings with OBS and I included in that video how to set up your Zoom account for remote recording. It's not configured out of the box really in a very uh, good way for this uh, functionality. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. I think it was worth a separate video because it's very important. However, I have to say one caveat. I actually don't recommend Zoom for remote recording. Yes, it will get the job done, but there's a better platform in my opinion, and this isn't affiliate marketing. I'm just saying this, my honest opinion. Riverside.fm, I'll put a link to them in the description, is really intended for this purpose. Zoom is intended for video meetings, and as an add-on feature, it allows you to record. Now, the problem is that you're going to lose quality because uh, Zoom's going to compress your video and audio feed, uh, go up to the cloud and record, whereas Riverside.fm is what's called a double-ender recording platform. It records locally on the host and the guest side and then syncs, syncs those up to the cloud. But if for whatever reason you need to use Zoom, it's what your guests are familiar with, etc. Here's what you want to do. So go into your Zoom account, click on to settings, then click into recording. It's the second tab over in settings. And this is where you're going to want to change things up. Now, this is maybe not the best way to do it because I have uh, tinkered with my settings already. Um, but if I hadn't tinkered with them, here's what they would look like. The record active speaker gallery view and shared screen separately would not be ticked. This is what you want to tick. It's super important. Why is this? Because if you think about it, if you're editing and post-production, it's much more useful to be able to play around with host and guest afterwards. In other words, you might want to have full screen host, then cut to the guest, and then sometimes have both side by side. If everything's recorded onto one video feed, it's gonna be very hard. I don't say impossible because with enough editing wizardry, almost anything's possible, but it's gonna become a lot harder. So firstly, I would tick this. Um, you may not even want to have shared screen, just have active speaker and gallery view, but I would uh, do this. Now the second um, option that doesn't come ticked by default that I think is useful for more advanced editing workflow or really for editing these recordings with the intention of putting them up on YouTube, would be to record a separate audio file for each participant. So in other words, Zoom's going to give you the audio uh, as a separate file for everyone in the interview. That means that you can do stuff like blank out the host when you don't need the host audio and the host maybe is coughing into the microphone or whatever and just have the guest audio. Um, there's a few more. So those are what I would consider essentials and they're not grouped under advanced cloud recording settings. So don't be deceived, those are important. Um, you can add a timestamp to the recording. Now this is going to put a timestamp up there. Here's one, another trick I do. There's a tick box here, display participants' names in the recording. I would actually have that off because that's going to write the names. And in my opinion, it looks pretty ugly the way Zoom does it by default. And it's very easy in post-production to just add a lower third for each participant and then have them uh, disappear. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, there's a tick box here, optimize the recording for third party video editor. Um, this will increase both the file size and the time it will take to generate. I would take that just to be safe. I have to be honest, I'm not really sure what that does, um, but I've always ticked it. So this is my default config for recording interviews. And then you can just use the cloud recording once you have this set up. But if you don't have this set up and saved on the back end of Zoom, it's too late. So you wanna make sure you go in here before your interview, get everything configured. One more time, settings, meeting, and then you want to, in my opinion, turn on the uh, separate recording settings for uh, active speaker, gallery view, and shared screen. Um, and then I also recommend uh, recording, ticking this option for recording a separate audio file for each participant. Finally, I also, rec I also take off participant names and then tick this box called optimize the recording for third party video editors. Hope that uh, settings run through was useful if you are using the Zoom platform to record an interview for your YouTube channel or whatever the case may be. Thanks for watching and more videos will be coming soon on this YouTube channel.